The challenges of growing a medical practice in 2023 are many, but with a few changes, you can and will overcome these problems. But first, thank you for stopping by my channel as I look to help 10,000 medical practices provide better care for patients for increasing revenue. Hopefully I can guide you to achieve passive income at levels you never imagined possible. First, a little bit about me. I'm Theo Harvey and I'm an experienced healthcare entrepreneur and consultant that's helped hundreds of doctors and nurse practitioners achieve thousands of dollars in passive income for their practices during the pandemic. How were they able to do this? That's simple. They fully embraced adding virtual care services like chronic care management and remote patient monitoring or RPM into their practices. I bet you're like the providers I've met who are giving their all, fighting the deadly pandemic while struggling financially to keep their doors open. With one simple thing, I was able to help them gain true passive income for the first time in their career. They had time to travel and actually take time off from the daily grind. In some cases, this is the first time some of them had taken a true vacation in over 10 years. This transformed their practices and ultimately their patients' lives because they were now able to truly be present in front of their patients for the first time in years. It was truly amazing to see them and be able to give back to providers who had been burnt out for so long. What I've learned through this process of helping hundreds of doctors is that healthcare has fundamentally changed and only those who truly embrace this and make changes now will not only survive the practice of medicine, but thrive. I 100% believe because I have seen it with my own eyes. So if you believe this and think that you can change the direction of your medical practice, then you're in the right spot. If you're anything like the practice owners I've worked with, I'm sure you have some questions. Let's go over a few questions I get most often. What if I don't have time to add virtual care services? As a medical practice owner, you are always busy. I get it. You have patients that need your attention, but I know you see your colleagues who have implemented these type of services already enjoy additional passive income. In some cases, they may not have nearly the number of patients you have. Imagine how you can increase care and revenue for percentage of your patients can be transformed into a truly remote care option. Hey everyone, I want to take the time to let you know how we can help you and your organization navigate the coming changes to your practices. Please join our monthly webinar on how virtual care programs will transform the management of your medical practice. In this informative webinar, you will learn our proven system on how not to miss out on any billable value-based codes how to scale your team to handle new workflows without burnout, and the onboarding experience for value-based care programs that produce the best patient care. So if you want to learn more, click on the link below and sign up today. What if patients don't adopt virtual care services? I get this question a lot. It's new and most patients are resistant to new services. However, if you as a medical professional truly believe in the health efficacy of a solution, then you would recommend it to your patient. In a 2022 survey of 100 US medical practice leaders, 66% indicated remote patient monitoring improves patient outcomes, an assertion well supported by clinical research. Another study presented in 2021 of about 400 middle-aged patients whose type two diabetes was managed via RPM, demonstrate that glucose readings decrease over six and 12 months. Another question, why do I need to do this now? Well, one term, value-based care. Value-based care models center on patient outcomes and how well healthcare providers can improve quality of care based on specific measures, such as reducing hospital readmissions, using certified health IT, and improving preventative care. This is in opposition to the current fee-for-service model where you do work with a patient and then you get compensated. Virtual care services are about increasing access and providing preventative measures, which is directly in line with value-based care. The Department of Health and Human Services, HHS, set a goal of converting 50% of fee-for-service Medicare patients to this new value-based payment model. So the old ways will be changing dramatically. At the end of the day, there are two types of people. The ones who stay with the old fee-for-service model are those who will adjust to the new ways of value-based care. So what am I offering? Well, currently, nothing but my knowledge right now. My hope is that I can provide some insight on the changing landscape of healthcare and how you can navigate it. For instance, there are a few challenges I'm anticipating in 2023. For one, CMS has already said they will be reducing reimbursements by 4.5% for our Medicare reimbursements coming in 2023. So how's your practice preparing? Secondly, you're at risk of losing patients to competitors like CVS and Walmart, these big box retailers that you never would have worried about competing now in your space. That's all changing and a loss in patients means a loss in revenue. 
Finally, the pandemic has fundamentally changed the way patients expect to engage with their doctors. They're looking for more accessible offerings that can accommodate their busy lifestyles. On the flip side, doctors and other medical professionals are leaving private practice burnt out from long hours with little benefit. I truly believe that creating a medical practice that implements virtual care services will benefit healthcare as a whole. Not only will patients get the convenience and the access they need, but for the first time, our medical professionals have a way to get compensated in a passive way. If you're interested in creating channels for passive income in your medical practice, subscribe to my channel and be sure to follow me on social media.